widespread rumor in ufology circles that I've always been curious about. It's believed that President Dwight D. Eisenhower signed a peace treaty with an alien race in 1954 that might have allowed for human abductions. I mean, if this is true, it would be an explosive revelation. So I'm going to continue my investigation by speaking with Laura Eisenhower, President Eisenhower's great-granddaughter. Hi there. Hey, Laura, how's it going? Pretty good, how are you? Good, good. Hey, thank you for meeting with me. I've heard a lot about some, some rumors that I'm hoping you can either confirm or deny for me. I'm just going to come right out and ask you, do you believe that your great-grandfather, Dwight D. Eisenhower, signed a treaty with extraterrestrials? It's a true story. What I have learned about Eisenhower's relationship to extraterrestrial beings and ET government treaties is that supposedly in 1954 there was a meeting at Edwards Air Force Base. Right. Uh, they seemed to have diplomatic intention. The treaties had to do with bartering exchanges of planetary goods, uh, natural resources, elements, and compounds. And it was in exchange for like things like abduction. Why would they want to abduct humans? What are they doing with that? But they need our DNA. We have a treasure of DNA that is basically a living library. Laura Eisenhower explains that aliens wish to analyze our DNA in their quest to unlock the secrets of the universe, which they believe is hidden in the DNA of all living creatures. It's interesting you say that because the abductees that I've talked to, that seems to be a very common theme. If you were in your grandfather's place, I mean, do you have a better understanding? Do you blame him for what he did? I am not here to protect anybody. I know that he just had no idea what he was dealing with at the time. Right. How could anybody truly process the larger picture of all this? What do you think the government loses by telling the American public and giving full disclosure about these treaties and the abductions? Why are they trying to sweep it under the rug and hide it? You're gonna have your well-intentioned people that are trying to do their best for humanity that are aware of what's going on to a certain degree and they are being heavily stopped from being able to put out disclosure. Plus, what they have to lose uh, is their life. Thank you so much. Thank you. Laura just gave me so much information. A lot of this is difficult to swallow, but if this information is true, the aliens have made treaties with the U.S. government, it's no doubt that the government does not want the people to know about it.